A genre is a category of music and a style is a genre of one. So if you look at how and why we have categories as human beings, is that if we didn't, the world would just be a bunch of stuff. It would just be infinite things that weren't anything. But essentially, we make categories in order to make sense of the world. So a category is made up of a number of different elements. And they, whoever they are, the famous they that we always talk about, they used to say or think that categories were fixed. That if there were a certain number of things that were true of something, say a table has four legs, and you put things on it as a flat surface on the top, then it fits into that category. What they have now realized is that is not true because not all tables have four legs. You don't always put things on tables, right? but we still can say that things are tables. So that there are a number of elements within a category that mean that people go, oh, that's a table. So for instance, to talk about music, if you were to say house music, what are the elements that go into people agreeing, because a category in its essence is a bunch of people agreeing that these elements fit into this category. So with house music, four to the floor, kick drum, 118 to 128 BPM, etc., etc. There are these number of different elements. Now, the more of those elements which conform to what it has been agreed upon that the category is, it's like a dartboard or a bullseye. The more of those elements there are, the closer to the center of the bullseye, the more archetypal that piece of music will be. The less of those elements that are present. So for instance, if I had exactly the same piece of music with everything the same, but I didn't have a fall to the floor kick drum, you'd have people starting to argue that it wasn't house. If I had that same piece of music and I slowed it down to 110, but everything else was exactly the same, a lot of people would start to argue that wasn't house music as well. Because there are certain elements which are more important to that category, that genre of music. If you then think that a genre is multiple different artists who are conforming to the genre elements, to make that category of music. Well, if you think that style is one person doing that, well, you are free to choose what musical elements, whether it be BPM, tempo, instrumentation, sound design, type of melody, type of harmony, philosophy, message, texture, story, you know, the arc, the function, all of these things go into a musical genre or well, they can go into your own style and by choosing certain elements as being the most important ones in your music and they're separate from uh, the genre elements so i could decide that i wouldn't but i can decide that pan pipes and the underwater ear flute and a fart noise are the archetypal elements of mike monday uh, music. If I put enough of those ridiculous sounds and use enough of those elements in any genre, people will go, oh, there's Mike Monday doing death metal. There's Mike Monday doing dubstep. When you think about how categories work and how the human mind categorizes things, you can transcend genre and create your own style while still being able to work within a genre.